there are many types of restoration and collectively we consider them to be ecosystem restoration in, al in alignment with the UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration. And the Society for Ecological Restoration and Partners has developed a restorative continuum that describes those different kinds of restoration that's used to underpin the decade and helps describe restoration for target two of the global biodiversity framework. And those, uh, the major categories are reduced societal impacts, remediation, rehabilitation, and ecological restoration. And they're important because different kinds of restoration produce different kinds of outcomes. So for example, if you're trying to restore ecosystem functions and services for people, improve food production, et cetera, then, um, then that kind of restoration is typically rehabilitation. If you're trying to get rid of contaminants, toxic materials that might be harmful to people and wildlife, it's remediation. But for the target two, in particular relevance to biodiversity, ecological restoration is the kind of restoration that results in the recovery of natural or native ecosystems that are specifically referred to in Target 2. The idea of effective restoration is really important and we're really glad that the word effective was included in Target 2 because we can do restoration and it can do something uh, or nothing or a lot. And the idea of effective restoration is we need the restoration that we're going to invest in and we're gonna perform or do to be uh, as effective as possible to produce the best outcomes that they can. So in that sense, effective restoration um, would uh, adhere to generally accepted principles and standards for the profession of restoration. So we have standards for ecological restoration, and there are principles and standards that have been developed for the UN Decade on ecosystem restoration. And they include all kinds of components from stakeholder engagement, and using all kinds of knowledge to specific attributes that deal with the kinds of species that we're trying to restore or the ecosystem functions and so forth. So effective restoration by definition will provide the kind of improvements that uh, in, the, in these key areas that are identified in, in target two, such as connectivity and biodiversity and ecosystem in integrity. Um, those things are all uh, included in the idea of effectiveness. The idea of a resource manual for target two is really important. There's a lot of guidance that is out there about restoration. Um, there's also a lack of clarity on some key issues, such as definitions of what degraded is, different kinds of restoration and so forth. So the idea of the resource manual is to bring all of that information together in a concise format. Uh, parties, countries, people that are doing restoration are not gonna wade through a 500 page document. So we're gonna try and get the information in as concise a format as possible, get the key points into that document, and then um, provide the links, uh, the connections to the external guidance that is needed for particular countries or particular kinds of restoration. And there's a tremendous amount of guidance that's out there in the world from sector-based guidance for different kinds of species or different habitats from mining restoration to kelp forests or coral reefs. And so there's a tremendous amount out there, but it's too much for everyone to try and wade through and find on their own. It's also inefficient. So we're trying to make the process more efficient. And then the other aspect is that we want to make it as easy as possible for countries to be able to um, to update uh, and upgrade their NBSAPs to uh, bring in uh, the full meaning of Target 2.